صلى الله عليكم يقول السائل قرأت أن رفع الذكر بعد الصلاة المكتوبة سنة فما هو ضابط رفع الصوت لأنه بعض الأحيان يكون هناك إزعاج للذين يصلون السنة يكون إيش لأنه قرأت أن رفع الذكر بعد الصلاة المكتوبة سنة فما هو ضابط رفع الصوت لأنه بعض الأحيان يكون هناك إزعاج للذين يصلون السنة ما تصل السنة إلا بعد الذكر مخطئون اللي يقومون على طول إلى سلم الإمام يقومون يصلون السنة هذا خطأ فصبروا لما يأتون بالأذكار ثم يقومون ويأتون بالسنة أيضا نهي عن وصل صلاة بصلاة حتى يفصل بينهما بكلام أو انتقال نعم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد علامة الشيخ صالح بن فوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked that reading and raising the uh, raising the voices and making dhikr after salat after the, the regular five days daily prayers is sunnah so what is the criterion for raising the voices? Because sometimes there might be, it might disturb those people who are praying their sunnas. The Shaykh Hafidullah Ta'ala answered by saying, Do not pray sunnah except after making dhikr, you know, after making remembrance of Allah, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar and those other adhkar. And then he said, those people who stand up right after prayer are making a mistake. They've made a mistake. And then they, right after the imam makes salam, they stand up and then begin to pray their sunnah prayers. This is a mistake. Be patient. They should be patient. And then after they do their remembrance, making their adhkar, then they can stand up and pray their sunnah prayers. Also, it is prohibited to immediately make salat after salat until you make a, uh, until you separate between them, either by speaking after the, the prayer is finished or by moving to another place to pray. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything that we said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that was said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.